What is going on Reddit Force? Today I have another uh, product review for you and today we're covering uh, the graphic novels for Dragon Ball Z 1 through 10. They canceled them after volume 10. Same with the Dragon Ball versions. Uh, and also to note that they were counting Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z as the same show like they did in Japan. Uh, volumes 1 through 42 because as you can see right there it says 17 out of 42. Uh, same for the Dragon Ball versions of these. So that's a fun thing to note that they were going for, but canceled out the volume 10. Uh, they also canceled the comics around the same time, but the comics lasted a few issues longer. I'll get into that as well at the end of the video when I get to volume 10. Uh, but yeah, let's jump right into this at volume 1. And here we have volume 1 of Dragon Ball Z graphic novels. And these were released at the time the show was coming out because it said in the front, um, which I'll show you again in a minute here, ISBN numbers, and it said the show that started it all, I believe, the original story behind the hit TV show Dragon Ball Z. So, the, I guess it took a little bit longer to get the manga into the United States rather than the anime, uh, volume two of Dragon Ball Z. And here we have volume three. Uh, I dig the Dragon Ball Z art a little bit better, personally. Now, comic-wise, it's hard to say. I need to do a video on the, all my comics, but it's just, it's just a lot. I'm going to one day, though, but volume three, which is also 19 out of the grand scheme of things. And the ISBN number. And one thing I did not note just yet is picture quality, which I personally like the quality on these a little bit better than the Shonen Jump ones just because the book is slightly larger, uh, but there is no there are no colored pages at all in these like the full color and the collector's editions and the three-in-ones and all that. On to volume four. Piccolo and Gohan. I like that art as well. And also the price is fourteen ninety five on, on these. So far, I like the Dragon Ball. They dropped to $13. Uh, I believe these drop as well, if my memory serves me correct. So I guess they were not selling as well as the comics, or they just weren't selling at all. Oh, volume 5 here. So this is they're on the way to Namek, it looks like, on this uh, chapter. Volume 6, and these books are slightly, pretty heavy compared to the newer ones, obviously. More made of more durable stuff and quality control. Uh, volume 6. Battlefield Dynamic. Your UPC ISBN number. <clears throat> volume 7. Uh, this artwork I dig. This, this is definitely... Uh, artwork on a comic because uh, I think it was on a chapter five uh, chapter five issue seven or something something like that part five issue seven because uh, I didn't have it I had all of them but that one for a while there Ooh, the Ginyu Force volume eight of Dragon Ball Z And see, yeah, they dropped the price of the uh, the graphic novels at some point. I didn't look at all of them to see when they dropped, but I think on Dragon Ball it dropped on like issue four or five. Uh, here's the back and your ISBN numbers. Volume nine, my friends. Uh, we have freaking Goku going fishing with his buddies and Bulma. <laughs> the Wrath of Frieza. And your ISBN number. Alright, and here is the last volume of Dragon Ball Z, volume 10, before they canceled. Goku vs. Frieza. So this is really cool here. Uh, I like the... I like how... The, I mean, I'm, I'm very interest, interested in why they, you know, 
and cancellations and stuff because it makes the release interesting. Uh, like I said, they discontinued these at volume 10. And what sucks about these so bad is because if you bought these, like when they came out, you'd be left with a freaking major cliffhanger. They never finished the Frieza fight. I don't believe. So you got Goku fighting Frieza here. Let me find the last panel here. So the last panel is right here. You know, Frieza's, a, you know, about out, but then it says the next Goku folds up. So obviously, the fight isn't over. But luckily, if you bought the comic versions of these, which is, which I love because the comics actually finish the fight and leave the cliffhanger as if Goku ever survived and stuff like that. Which is uh, how Akira Toriyama really wanted to end the series with uh, Namek, with Frieza. So if you actually have the comics, you can actually believe that the show ended there. Because it really had, like, Goku just killed Frieza and it never showed him getting back to Earth. I thought that was a great way to, like, just, just, it's funny how it ended like that. It worked out perfect for the comics. So if you want to get the comics, that's, it has a nice backstory to it because it ends like that. But that is it for the graphic novels. That is it for the graphic novels of Dragon Ball Z 1 through 10. Uh, like I said, nothing too much to note about it except that they are discontinued and uh, the Dragon Ball Z ones never got past the, the end of the Frieza saga like the comics did, uh, which is very cool on the comics part of things. But these are released hand in hand with the comics, so they couldn't release another issue of these because the comics didn't get far enough in to make another graphic novel. So that, that's why they ended up being uh, a little bit shorter story-wise compared to the comics. Uh, but yes... That is it for Dragon Ball Z. If you guys enjoyed this product review, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see in the next uh, video. Peace out, guys. Take care.